This is the Everyday Hustle Show, where our number one priority is self-development. Each week, we will dive into insightful topics that encourage you to push your thinking beyond average. Smash that subscribe button and tune in every Sunday at 6 p.m. Oh, yeah, we're hot. Holy shit, boys. Yeah. No warning? No, no fucking warning. warning? It's a good Jeez. band right there, dude. Shut up. That is a solid dude, band. Would you shut up? He's trying to record, all right? What? I think I gotta turn the fan off. Oh, it's really good coffee, man. Huh? Just left over from this morning, you know? Wow. Wait, so uh, you, just you literally that. made a pot of coffee this morning? This morning, yeah. This morning. Had a couple cups. Left and then it. you just put it in the fridge or you left it sit out all day? Nah, room temp. What? Yeah, what do you think? And then you bad? just freaking gave it to us? Like it was Should probably start bringing sitting that, out um, all day? that cold brew at work home. Two days left until. That's weird, dude. Expiration. Because honestly, I think that. Like it's always, I guess it's always good when I drink. What do you ice think coffee? it is when you get it at fucking Dunkin' Donuts, know. bro? Listen, but for they some brew reason, it and it sits on the floor for fucking four days. It just doesn't sound right to me. It's right, <laughs> believe me. I mean, it tastes right. It just doesn't sound right. Cold brew is made differently. You know how cold brew is made. I would imagine cold. But welcome everyone to the 85th episode. Do you know how the cold no brew seriously? Is made? I've always kind of thought thinking about that the other day. So it sits the beans and the ground sit in the water. Over 24 hours. Sit in water. Yeah, like imagine like the grounds and the beans and the water all in one vat, and then it's filtered out. Then it's you filter out the the grounds. It runs through a filter. Yeah. Well, that's how that's the way you're supposed to do it. But I guarantee you, Duncan's doing. How do you in there for two hours? Talk to me. How do you think Duncan does it? They don't do it right. I'm, Isn't I'm there like a? You think Duncan's gonna be thinking about it, doing it correctly for twenty four hours? Touche. How do you think? Yeah, but Maybe they have to have hours. a system, obviously, because it's might. a hot seller. So. Isn't there like a nitro cold brew or some shit like Ooh. that? Yeah, so that's the cold brew that's ran through like a carbonated. Um, it's like comes in a keg. Did uh, did Jr. ever think about selling coffee products? Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> they do sell coffee you this products, guy, Vinny? dude. Vinny, talk to me. Did he? Welcome, Vinny. Oh, for fuck sakes. Thank you. <laughs> Starbucks is blowing up on that cold brew, that nitro. They have like nitro shots now and everything. Ooh. I don't know about that life. It's just I'm, like carbonated coffee. I don't. I'm not. It's carbonated. Yeah, carbonated Ooh, coffee uh, no, or nitrogen know. infused. I mean, it's kind of the same thing. I don't it's weird. Know. You know, I've weird. been really like the last couple of years just not into coffee at all. Like I think when I first moved down here, obviously iced coffee. I was drinking a bunch. Fucking recovery meetings, all that. But I really got away with it. So I swear to God, for the last year, like I have not drank more than a couple cups of coffee but all of a sudden three weeks ago i'm just freaking sprung right back in I'm making yeah. a cup of coffee every morning i mean Helena between then and, and now like how coffee. did you like how did you get go- get going in the morning just, just literally drink like Lacroix constantly just, the, just and Lacroix and jewel diet it's constant <laughs> jewel constant Lacroix. jewel definitely bubbly. wakes you up in the morning if you if you yeah. take a couple balls on that no. thing, you know? so that's about a, the kookiest thing I've ever heard in my entire life. Oh, no, seriously. I also had a. Uh, Everybody's good, drink, going to work, drinking their coffee like normal humans. Jesse's over there sucking on his USB and flash drive. Smashing, smashing the cool the grapefruit. Crashing, fucking, fucking, <laughs> dude, not only that, it. but. Um, Shotgunning them. I did. Like, if I ever needed a caffeinated uh, pick me up, I had like little crystal light packets. I have one that's like strawberry energy with caffeine. I don't trust it's you. not strawberry. Yeah, it might be strawberry. Oh, and you put that in the Lacroix? No, it's just a bottle of water. Oh. Imagine if you put it in the Lacroix, though. Oh, shit, man. <laughs> <laughs> I think I think there there was a meme going around that uh, Jewel is releasing, like, beverages with nicotine in them. No. I, yeah, I swear. Didn't I show that to I'll you? I'll drink that shit right like, fucking Like, posted yeah. it? Yep. That's actually kind of crazy. I'm going to pull up a picture. His mouth is going to water. <laughs> Not water. I actually think that's... I imagine they're probably going to be able to sell them, but... No, it's... I think... It, it can't, can't be put nicotine right? in a drink. Well, no, there's... Yeah, you definitely you, could, but I mean, would it be legal? I mean... The liquid inside the jewels and stuff is... is true. Is nicotine. And it's has, liquid. But... Yeah. But no, they but, say if you ingested that you could exactly, die. Exactly. And, and there'd have to be... It, such a small percentage. Right, because if you, you know, you can kill yourself by putting a bunch of fucking nicotine patches on you, getting, that's crazy. It's, that's fake, right? It has to be. I don't know. The guy's holding it. The product has a nicotine label. Like It's probably Photoshopped. I was 
was gonna say you can Photoshop this good. Oh yeah, I think so. Definitely. I know Drew can. Screws a beast at it. But yeah. seriously, yeah, like they'd have Shout to put to such Murphy a visuals. small <laughs> amount of nicotine <laughs> in it, <laughs> and because if you just you know chugged jewel beverages like someone drank a case of beer or something, you probably fucking OD from the That'd nicotine. Be sick. That'd be a good way to you know go out. People would be pulling a fucking Jeffrey Epstein with that shit. What the fuck? You guys catch that reference? Yeah, it was good. He committed suicide. I know, it wasn't that good, yeah. though. It wasn't that good That's of a what reference. what they say. That's true. Pretty sure he got killed. You guys want to talk about that? Conspiracy theories here. I don't know anything about I'm, it. Yeah, I'm out of the loop with him. So, this guy, I don't know exactly what he did. Probably raped some kids, or he was into some fucking crazy bad shit um, involving uh, sex. But he was a super powerful billionaire, right? Uh, he went to jail. The, th- the thing is, is I don't really buy into any of the conspiracy theory shit. But this motherfucker, you know, he was connected with a lot of really powerful people who s- stood to, you know, if he had any kind of information mm. against any of these people, you know, they stood to really get fucked up over, you know, him... There's a, there's a bunch of cases with that too, like that Aaron Hernandez, tight oh, no. end, yeah, yeah, tight end for the Patriots. Patriots. Yeah, like he he went to jail. Um, he was accused of like murdering two people at a nightclub, but like it was up in the air, like nothing was official. And then out of nowhere, they find him hanging in his cell. But what's interesting about it is that he left a note, and in the note saying that he did it for his daughter. So all his the money that he had. And the bond that he set up for his daughter was wasn't good to go until he died. So he don't, died, don't, and all the don't money. Don't insurance policy. Was it a life insurance or no? No, I think it was because life NFL. insurance is void if you kill life yourself. Life insurance is void if you kill yourself. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So it was I think so, it was so, so so he he Lord killed himself. Yeah. yeah. So he apparently killed himself. And then his ex and his daughter walked away with a crap load of money because yeah. there was that's what his will. Like, well, he, yeah, yeah that was probably in a living trust. Yeah, because he, it, they wouldn't have gotten it if he would have been convicted of a felony or something like that. So, yeah. But I mean, as far as that, just to give everyone context here, Jesse's source is Kyle Swinson. So just let that sink in. Real I have quick. not talked to Kyle Swinson <laughs> in uh, on the phone in a couple of weeks. Bro. What do you mean in the group chat, bro? Dude, I was not reading those group chat messages oh, okay. this week. I was. I was uh, submerged in a sea of meetings. Here he goes. Since Monday afternoon. Uh, I'm feeling very important this week at work. Obviously, because you're ignoring us all week. (laughs) Dude. (laughs) Meeting after meeting. It's been crazy. We talked about last week, though, with me trying to create more of a purpose. Uh, So far, I've definitely had a more... Active, proactive. Was last week. week the episode with Casey? No, no. Oh. That was eighty three. That was eighty three. No. Ochenta tres. Yeah. Was it? Ochenta tres. Tres. Ochenta tres. Tres. I think so. Yeah, that was two, right? See, last week was ochenta cuatro. Was just us last week. Yeah, at Jesse's new house. Yeah, it's not new anymore, dude. It's a month old. <laughs> yeah. It was nice though. Last week was so, Yo, was so, sick. so so what's up, Drew? Are you gonna introduce our guest? Yeah, talk about him. <laughs> talk about him. I don't even think we're over this episode. Hailing shit. from the streets yeah, of Brazil. Him. I was oh. born here, bro. <laughs> I was born. <laughs> Yo, we got, we got, oh my we god, give dude! Some, start uh, over. Start, start over. Earl Springs. We got to give some effect. You know what I'm saying? We got to get some mystery. Yeah, Brazil is so much <laughs> better than Coral Springs. <laughs> <laughs> nah, Brazil's a a hell hole right now. Uh oh, Layla's, Layla's not having it, huh, Jen? Well, you're in here fucking growling like an animal. <laughs> Who is growling? Yeah, you want to say that again to the listeners? She's growling like an animal, dude. Dang, she's tight. Drew, Drew clears. He, he fucking cleared his throat, dude. Really oh, loud. Yeah. Like a real piece of shit, dude. Oh, okay. Like a baby so, not Brazil. Sleep. Hailing from the streets of Coral Springs. Thank you, thank you. Coral Springs sounds cool if you're not from Florida. That's true. Yeah, you know? it does. If you're not from Florida, it's pretty much Brazil. Sounds Same like as a beach. Delray. Delray sounds sick. If you don't know what Delray is, I mean Delray's cool, that. but but it's if, not you, like if sick. you know, then you know it's the armpit. <laughs> yeah, Freaking yeah. Right. 
But yeah, no, Vinny's been, uh, Vinny's uh, the Juice Revolution's first employee. Yo. And, uh, you know, we talked first? about him. <laughs> yeah. Yep. We talked about yeah, him a bunch of times on the podcast, yeah. so we figured, hey, let's just. Hey, listen. shout out to whoever said no one listens, and then someone said Vinny does. I don't, it didn't sound like uh, Andrew. Was, <laughs> it's probably me, dude. It might have been you. Maybe. Yeah, but yeah, I mean, it's sometimes. just time to let the let 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 the world know Vinny. You know, we got to get him yeah, on the airwaves. Yeah, we talked about him know? a few times. That's true. We need to know what his purpose is out here. You know, so. yo, and and Vinny's a young bull, huh? How old are you? Eighteen. Eighteen. Damn, bro. Yeah. So you, were, you were born again. in two thousand and one. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, that's so right. fucking, you were born the same year that the freaking Chronic album came out. Snoop Dogg. How do you know the year the Chronic album came out? Oh, it says that's West Coast, Doesn't bro. Doesn't it say 2001 yeah, on the front West of it? West Coast shit, oh my bro. God. You lived in California for three months. You just fucking told no, me. No, 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 no. You piece I, of shit. I went to school for three months, but I lived there till about 11. And then I moved back. In you hear this fucking guy, man? My, after my senior year. Oh, At least it. Christian like listens to good music and doesn't just drive around listening to freaking Howard Stern all. I listen to <laughs> Howard Stern. I listen out. to Dance Gavin. Dance. Is that the guy on America's Got Talent? The ju- the judge. He was. Who, was he? For yeah, for a couple. What seasons. the hell? Who who trusts his opinion for talent? Wow, fuck you. He's the <laughs> king of all media, dude. <laughs> Howard Stern is a fucking innovator, dude. Why don't no you marry him, him, bro? I would. He's got a lot of money. I suck him off right You're now. You a gold digger? He's a gold digger. Uh, for him, I would be. And then I'd leave him after I got his money and go back to Helena and we'll have a great life. We don't have to work. So, anyway, you're, <laughs> you're, you are Brazilian, though. Yeah, my right? parents. Okay, and you yeah. speak Portuguese. Fluent. Wow. Fluent Portuguese. Yeah. So, That's sometimes, sometimes people... Because, yeah, and there's like a weird and oddly amount of people who speak that language in like our surrounding area by the juice bar, you know? Specifically and like every once Portuguese? in a while, someone will come up... Yeah. Someone will come up and speak some broken English, and like I'll be like, I don't know what the fuck first to say. And I can tell. I can ta- tell. Yeah, he can tell by the accent, and then all yeah. of a sudden they'll just start having a conversation in Portuguese, and I'm like, what? The okay, it's, thank a, tough, it's God. a tough language. It's a test. In three, two, one, you're gonna say, the kitchen is next to the bathroom. Three, two, one. A cozinha é perto do banheiro. That's a weird language, bro. It is a weird language. It's it's it kind, kind of French. Of, yeah, it's Christian. Like a, say it in Spanish. What is it? The bathroom what? The bathroom is next to the kitchen. El baño está cerca de la cocina. La cocina. You kind of sound Mexican. You sound brown Yo, as I'm, fuck. I'm, I'm working on it. Portuguese is, is it like a mixture between uh, French and... You're asking the wrong guy, bro. It sounds, <laughs> well... It, it sounds, sounds it has like a French, it. Frenchy, like the way you kind of say the si, words. Qua, like si. when, I, when I was uh, choosing, you have to take a language in high school in order to graduate now. Mm. So I picked Spanish thinking that... Oh, really? It, yeah. You need at least two years. Awesome. Thinking that it would be easy? Yeah, thinking that it would be easy, but... It's tough. No. One. Fucked you up. No. It, it's a tough one. It's completely different. Fucked you up. Yeah. Brazil. Right. So have you ever been to Brazil? Yeah, we try to go every year as like a family. I was I was there um, last year for a wedding. Is it as dangerous as they say? Um, My, my parents... Or my... Yeah, my dad... Well, yeah, my parents... So my mom and my dad, they started dating in 13, like when they were, my dad was 13, my mom was 11 oh, shit. in Brazil. Yeah. So they, you Damn, know, they, they've been together for a minute. My dad's 54 now. My mom's That's crazy. 49. Usually shit that yeah, young, you know, it doesn't last. Yeah. But I, I don't like it there. No. Like. I'll go there for three days, and that's, like, it for me. Last time I had to stay was two weeks, and I got, like, a stomach infection and everything. <laughs> like, it was it was bad. It's not beautiful out there? Like, no mountains? It depends like, where you go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. South America. It's, like, some third world country. Yeah, but the, like, yeah. there's poor, some beautiful very spots poor. in Brazil, though. I'm yeah, sure there's some good spots, spots, yeah. Beautiful the, spots the in Africa. Big statue? But, oh, yeah, Rio de Janeiro. There. Rio, yeah, yeah. yeah. I want to visit that y'all, spot. y'all ain't never seen the, the latest Fast and Furious movie? Oh, no, dude. I haven't seen oh, the latest one. That was like seven movies. Come on. Yeah, that Excuse was, me. Dude. That was like. Excuse me. All right. Hobbs and Shaw is out now, dude. I haven't seen like the last five. So Portuguese is a Western Romance language originating in the Iberian Peninsula. Peninsula. It's the sole official language of Portugal, Portugal, Brazil, Cape Verde, Guinea, Bissau, Mozambique, Angola, and Sao Tome and Principe. Western Romance. Principe, huh? Eh? That's your cigars, bud. You remember that band, Portugal the Man? Yeah. No. So, growing up in Coral Springs, 
It sounds so soft. No, I, I was <laughs> no. What sounds even softer is Boca Raton. Oh, I, I was just I was just born in a hospital in Coral Springs, but okay. I, I've lived in Boca my whole life. Okay, Yo, it's Boca, even worse, bud. So what what was it like growing up there? Down that old bunny, dude. It it's just crazy <laughs> how life works. Cause before my parents bought their home, we lived across the literally across the street on 18th Street. You know what street that is? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's like of course, just, south, just yeah. south of Camino, right? So Camino, we went from yeah. a town home across the street to a neighborhood with houses. So I've lived around this area like my whole life, and we I've been we've been in the same house since I was four. I oh really? Say. Yeah. Damn, fam. Damn. So, dude, eighteen years old. So, so when when did you get like social media and stuff? Because your social media was around like your whole life, right? That was probably nah. as soon as his parents let him get a oh, phone. Oh, here's a better question: How old were you <laughs> when they gave you a cell phone? Oh, okay. <laughs> this interests me, dude. Probably had to be like. I mean, I got my first one, and with, but that was when they were just coming out. But still, right. like they were out prevalent. Yeah, but you know, now. when I was um, when I was a freshman in high school, so I was seventeen minus four. I was thirteen. Nowadays, thirteen. So, yeah, yeah, I think I think I was either eleven or twelve, and my first yeah, phone. Yeah, they, they held off long then. Yeah. Yeah. No, that's but that's good though. I think that's no. I, I could be wrong. Don't you know? Yeah. But 11, 12, I, uh, yeah it was definitely. Kind of, it would be like sixth grade, I think. Fifth or sixth grade, right? right? Sometime around there. I think I had it in fifth grade. Fifth, fifth grade? You know, yeah. So th- that's like what ten. Ten Yo, years I old. Didn't get, I didn't get my Razor flip phone f- till I was. That like was your seven, first cell phone. Till I was like sixteen or seventeen. That was your first yeah. cell phone. Yeah, and my dad like got it for me. That's a like solid phone. He got it from Walmart. It was a. F- it was one of those prepaid. He gave me like a card with prepaid on it. Yeah. So on the week or so after go your minutes? and after nine p.m. it was free though. Of course. Yeah, Remember yeah, that of course, shit. Of course. Yeah. Dude, I was so stoked, bro. Dude, Dude I my first Nokia phone. Brick. My my first phone was a, a iPhone 3GS, wow. and that's only because uh, my cousin had it, and then she went to go and get the four upgrade. So she gave it to me, and that's yeah. the only reason. My parents didn't even have an iPhone. Well, yeah, there was, was no the, there was no apps or nothing like that when when I got my phone. The razors, no, there was no. But that's what I'm saying. It's like a whole different. Remember, you had text, to text, text the picture back started. in the day, and it would like start out as a line, and then just like, meh, 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 dude, I was load. I was the guy <laughs> pixel with by the 3GS. No one, no one else in in my my school had an iPhone. Now everyone came over? to me. I mean, I was like I was like ten or eleven. So yeah. like most nowadays, you know, kids start right, right. with iPhone X's. And those fuckers, they know how to use it by the time they're like three years old. Like no, I guarantee four. you give you give Layla a phone, she'll she'll get the hang of it in a couple right. months. I yeah. promise. Like Helena's nephew's four years old and he can like flip through Netflix, you know, and <laughs> he knows how to navigate, you know, a cell phone, which is it's cool. He just got an iPad, yeah. like at four years old. Yeah, some say it's bad, you know? but it's like that's the future. I mean, Technology's yeah, but you definitely have to like because I feel like if you give a kid an iPad, a phone at four years old, like. Yeah, They're just yeah, going to yeah. immerse themselves in that. And it's tough, yeah, Especially yeah. So, so social media. Like, you can't just, uh, you know, give yeah, them free them. reign to do whatever they want. Like, think about all the different shit that what is if they on. landed on your page? Oh, exactly. God. And there's, like, freaking pictures of me, like, licking Lana's butt cheeks and stuff. <laughs> you can't <laughs> be seeing that stuff. No, there's not. <laughs> there is, dude. My let latest me, post. Let me show you all the latest. There's not a Jesse. picture of that. I feel like the the younger they get their phones and stuff, yeah. the more information they have access to, which like causes they Good mature really quick. Right. But then you right. start thinking of the shit. Bad. They know exactly. everything. Yeah. Which you know, I I think it's a good thing. You know, it's it's cool to have. But I think my, the way my sister does it is super <laughs> legit. Um, <laughs> what the heck? Like my that? sister, you know, they have iPads and stuff like that. But like. Chris. You know, they make sure that they only get them at certain times or it's like a bargaining tool. Like, yeah, if you don't do your homework, you're going to lose the iPad for two weeks. You know, like there's Mm -hmm. you have to like set up boundaries and responsibilities. I feel like it's always been like that. Like the kids have always been ahead of the parents, if you think about it, because there was always something that the parents were interested growing up. But the kids were true. Right. So they they were always the ones. Hmm. And that and that kind of continues because like. There's always the next thing. Oh yeah. 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 So when when did you get like uh, social media? Like when did you get your first what? Like Facebook or were you you didn't think, you didn't see MySpace right? No. That was I, I my heard, MySpace. It was like page. when I started getting oh social media. God. That was like fading. Yeah. Um, 
My so shit, it had my to be like 2007, was... probably. Yeah, I my think was I think I started a Facebook with my mom's management at like 11, but Damn. I had like my like my first Instagram account when I was like 13. That's crazy. Yeah. Sam, fam. I can't even imagine. Who did you follow at 13? Porn stars and shit. <laughs> <laughs> nah, that's crazy. No, that's I, crazy. I don't dude. know. Yeah, dude. I follow. What were you doing when you were 13? I don't know. I follow you a lot don't, of don't, chicks you don't, with like don't really big. <laughs> Right now, I'm current. Me and me and Helene both we follow a lot of chicks with like really big butts <laughs> and stuff. <laughs> like fake butt cheeks. That's a new thing, dude. That's a new thing. Yeah. You play any sports growing up? Yeah, I played uh, played hockey. I broke my leg playing hockey. My Your right leg. leg yeah. Like my tibula and my fib or my. F- tib I always and get fib, confused. dude. Tib, tib and fib. fib. Yeah. Just doesn't know what that Fucking is. Tib I fib. had a I had it's a cast worst. all the way up to my hip for four months, and then after that, I had one up to my knee for three months. Yeah, but you got like bouncy bones and shit. You're young, and they bounce back. You bounce back. Yeah. Did dude. that end your hockey career? Yeah. What What happened was because like hockey equipment's like you're talking at least twelve hundred dollars. So yeah. like I was in a cast for. Nine months. Outgrew you grew out. Yeah, it. you grew out. I just Ooh. sold it. That's rough. Then I got into soccer, and then That's I finished one. up uh, my high school playing football. You got so any, basically, like, as soon as like the senior season was open, I I, I just left school. You got any uh, lingering residual effects? Pain. Uh, I got a concussion my senior season playing football. Damn, but nothing like that directs. Oh, like no, no, yeah, my leg's perfectly shit. fine. Look at you, yeah. dude. Oh, interesting the video, young. buddy's over here squatting uh, three and a half plates. Three fucking plates, dude. Yeah, What's now your I'm max at, on the squat right now? 365. 365. What is that's that? fucking three that's, and a half plates, dude. That, yeah, that's three plates and a 25. So that's... Damn. Yeah. That's a big dog status. Deadlift 420. Shout out, coach. Kevin Shaw, if you're listening. Drew, <laughs> Drew Kevin not, Shaw, dude. I met him back in 86. He... Dude, that guy. <laughs> what the hell? Nah, I was actually born in fucking 88, so... That's last time the Dodgers won the World Series. Dude, would you stop with these fucking chronological facts? I'm sick of your shit. And the next time will be this year, so. Oh, my God. Just Here he goes, up. Vin. Just a heads up. You know, All right, so you said you thing. finished last year, and I already know this, but let's let's let the tell the listeners last year was um you did you did school at home or online, right? Yeah. So what was that like compared to? But like, signing know? up for it, it sounds like, you know, it's going to be a breeze and everything. That's like a normal thing for like Florida. Helena did that. No, yeah, like, like si- most people have that option. Yeah, like, it doesn't out. exist up north. Like, yeah, or, yeah on the I think coast. it's it's getting more popular too, just because yeah. like with all the shootings and everything oh, that like kids yeah. don't want their their parents going to school. But like sitting down and signing up for it, it sounds like oh, I'm gonna be able, you know, like cheat my way through it, and you can. Like you can finesse the whole system because your teachers call you, and that those are the tests. Oh, so yeah. like. And they're very forgiving. Like if they if they get if they give you a question, you have tests over the phone. Yeah, it's called the DBA discussion based assessment. <sighs> Holy shit! Yeah. And then, it's but lot, if you, it's probably a lot harder to bullshit over the phone than it is writing it out on paper, though. No, no, no. <laughs> you just got practice, dude. No, on your phone you could have <laughs> Google open. That's true. Yeah, but it it's definitely a lot of responsibility because you know. Going back to how I fell behind, which c- led me to not walk, was because I'd get home from work tired. I'm like, oh, I'll just do more tomorrow. Mm. I'll just do more tomorrow. But like, and then all it, of a sudden, you got a month's to worth of work to do. Yeah. The good thing is though, like, there is, there is no deadline. Like, oh really? Yeah. But, do you want to graduate or not? Right. Right. Yeah. Damn. So you so you didn't want to like. Well, was it your choice to to do online school or was it your parents? No, it was my choice. And it was because of school shootings or was it because of something else? I, di- I didn't want to drive to – because since I'm a senior or I was a senior, all my credits were taken care of prior. So to go to school for three, four hours, wake up in the morning, it seems kind of pointless. Only three or four hours? Yeah. Why is that? Because – it's called like senioritis. Like all, all your credits are taken care of. So you go there, you have like weightlifting, you have like a couple classes, but by then all your college applications are already submitted because you did that junior year. Dude, school sounds sick now. So you're Wait, just, you you're just there like <laughs> three, four hours. Well, no, he's saying, oh, he's saying that, that even if you weren't, you're saying even if you weren't, if, if you were to not go, you would still pass. Right? No, just, no, you, 
at school you have <laughs> what? to what the uh, fuck did you get that from? no because because he just said that all your all your credits were were good they were they were accounted because he earned them already. he earned yeah. them already so, so he means... still had to take probably fucking Careful, certain that's things down. that'll come down benny That'll come crashing right. down if you keep pulling. So you still had to take certain classes, even though your credits were taken care of. But yeah, it just was a very minimal amount. Because all your your, your, your college applications and your SAT and everything that's take that you do that junior year. Right. So by then, college is already you know kids are submitting their applications already. So you go to school just to like finish off, but it's all easy because senior year is your easiest year. Fresh like junior is the hardest. So freshman sophomore, you're kind of getting a feel for it. Junior year, you have to do good. Damn, it wasn't you, like I'm that I'm pretty for sure, me. yeah, senior year was like the hardest yeah, year I had. You would, like, you would love high school nowadays. That's what yeah. I'm saying, dude. Kids make guap dealing jewels in the bathroom. I swear to God. Damn, dude, dealing the, jewels? The student, the student parking lot? Kids would be a, would a jewel be a dealer. though, not a dealer. Yeah, no, I'd, be a jewel, be a I'd be a jewel dealer who got high on his own supply <laughs> and like made no money because I was just jeweling you're constantly. Just, you're just rocking jewels? Just you, you buy your own juice? Pods, you buy your own juice for the... I do now because it's crazy. How much do you pay for a bottle? He can hook you up. They're cheap, 11 bucks. The 11 bucks. How many pots can you fill? That thing will last me fucking... A, a lot, lot, right? Yeah. Kids were charging one dollar or two dollars on refill pods in the school parking lot. They would, you would hit them up on Snapchat. They would go, "What car are you in?" They would come in, pop that thing open, fill it up, give them the money. These kids had like, they used to, they also used to buy like big bottles and then put them into smaller bottles and sell them for like ten dollars. Damn, the hustle, dude, these bro. kids are smart as fuck nowadays. We used to do that in high school, but with weed. With weed. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I got I got Damn. suspended from high school because of jewel my sophomore year. Kids Damn. don't smoke anymore, right? Cigarettes? No, they, no, they do. Oh, oh, not cigarettes, not cigarettes. No, cigarettes is not. But cool. once, once like the, the gas station across the street thing. ran out of pods and ran out of jewels, they they turned to cigarettes, oh. which is like. Is anyone else mind blown how much times are changing? These yeah, days? dude, smoking cigarettes. Not is cool me, because I, I know I hear. I mean, I know, but like, you don't really think like about just, it until. Just imagine ten years from now, people are gonna be like butt chugging fucking. <laughs> <laughs> butt chug and jewel pods. Jewel that was one butt chug, dude. You know, you go upside down, and you just put some up your butt. You know? Have you ever tried? What it? is it called, like no. sphincter? Like when you like the people, practice of like opening up your 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 butthole to like fit objects oh, in. No, I've done that, dude. People do that in prison yeah. when they want to get something in. They just they put it in a plastic bag and they. Oh I yeah, think it's, yeah. Oh, that's uh, a yeah. that's boofing, dude. That's boofing it. That's yeah. boof. <laughs> yeah, boof it. You boof it all in there, you know. <laughs> yeah, I've boofed a few uh, bags. No, I'm just kidding. I've never boofed anything. Let's not get the wrong idea here, fellas, about my butthole. <laughs> it's a sacred place. <laughs> what the? Uncharted territory. Yeah, it's right. It's like an Alaskan field that's never been graced upon by an animal's presence. This guy's vocab is pretty interesting. <laughs> oh, he's a, he's is a it an Alaskan field, like, grass covered or snow covered? No, I'm saying, like, this so. is, like, in the summer when it's, like, grass covered, dude. But there's snow on the mountaintops. Yes. Yeah. It's fucking majestic as fuck. Yeah, bro. School nowadays is crazy. Like, Except for the snow and the mountaintops is really like the hairs in my taint. <laughs> so <laughs> this fall you're, going to, ignore my you're going to Florida Atlantic University, right? No yeah. shit. Now, that's not really, that's not like a community college. No. That's like a real private, like. Yeah, I was actually. Like travel from all over the country to go there, right? Yeah, I was actually, um, you know, like growing up, FAU was kind of considered. Like, if you didn't get into FSU, or if you didn't get into UF, or you, yeah. if you didn't want to go out of state, FAU was, like, your last resort, but... Like, above community yeah, college. Yeah, but, but like, it's once... Boca, you, right? Yeah, it's Boca. Yeah, but it's once you drive through the and, campus, the buildings that they have, they, they have, like... It's a fish. It's a city in there. We just did yeah. a bunch of the uh, renovations, like, last year. We did a bunch of new concrete, like, for building. You know what Jesse does? Stuff. Um, I remember watching an ep or not listening to an episode where you were side hustling paint painting. Uh, that's that's Christian. Me. That was you. Chris, dude. Uh, no, he did. He did paint. cement. I'm the freaking concrete guy. Yeah, sex with cement. Uh, yeah, I've tried, but so y'all laid the hard. Si- y'all did. Y'all probably laid a bunch of cement at FAU campus. Yeah, yeah I can, I'm trying down. to remember uh, who the company was, but it's regardless, they did. Uh, they did a bunch of new buildings. Yeah. It's it's pretty like legit in there. If you like, so what did you finish with? Like, uh, I guess like, how do they do? How do they like SAT scores, GPA, and academic? Uh, yeah, FA, uh, FAU accomplishments and all that shit. Yeah, FAU is pretty easy to get into compared what was to your like. GPA? I think I finished with, like a three 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 two. Not bad. Not bad. I wonder like how that. much college has changed. 
No. Bro. You know? <laughs> Yo, like, what are you what going to school on for? There, dude? Bro. I'm, just tr- I'm just trying to get my AA, really. So you're doing uh, basics? I, yeah, yeah I, st- I still don't. Associates? Yeah. I still don't know what I want to do, but either way I choose, I have to, you know, get my AA. Not to um, dis- sur- discourage you, but like going into college, not knowing what I wanted to do was like the worst. Yeah. Move you got to figure me. that out within like a semester. And yeah. the first semester, take all classes that'll translate into any major. You, you know listen what I mean? Listen to a bunch of guys who didn't finish college and are sure, fucking degenerate. So yeah. I, I, I left. I'm just, I'm months. just hoping Juice Revolution like blows up for real to where I can be like a district manager and have to drop <laughs> out of college. Oh yeah, dude. drive around in a Fuck EcoBoost yeah. Mustang with Juice Revolution covered uh, all over. Uh, you hear the fucking hey, checking up on locations. Listen, that's visual, got ambition. Visualization right there. It's got ambition. You got to picture yourself driving that fucking whatever the hell you just said. Mustang, Eco something. Juice Revolution wrapped on it? Yeah. Eco Boost, dude. <coughs> yeah. Twin turbo motor. Come on. I don't think I like it's a twin turbo. It's too. turbocharged. Mine's a twin turbo. Oh, shit. Yeah, yeah, but yours is a V6 twin turbo, right? Yeah. And a truck. Oh, the e- Eco Boost Mustangs are single turbo? It's a, it's a 2.3. Jeez, yeah. That's a it's, a, it's a four, it's a four cylinder. It's a girl yeah. car, dude. It's a girl car. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, that's really sick, though. I think visualizing stuff is, like, the biggest thing in the world. I mean, right now, I'm visualizing Helena, like, laying naked in a sea of uh, sunflowers. Because sunflowers <laughs> are her spirit animal. What are you they, on FaceTime with her right now? He's, no, he's no. Just uh, Snapchat. Hey, babe. <laughs> <laughs> sunflowers <laughs> aren't even an animal. No, but those are well, her favorite right. flowers. When Jesse talks, you just gotta, like, yeah, you know, just, it, it just... Just roll with the punches. Just roll with it. He just, you know, he, he's in his own little world here. You know what I was just thinking about? People don't have a problem with something until they, you tell them, like, he said the coffee was amazing, right? And then you told him it's been sitting out the whole day. And then all of a sudden he had a problem with yeah. it. Fuck same yeah, same thing with that lady with the peanut butter. <laughs> Is she, an issue? Yeah. The, the, it's all about what what people see. You know? And yeah. here, yeah. like. We, we had a lady that. That's why America. Matter of fault. perception, dude. Yeah. She, she got a shake. Or whatever and had peanut butter in it and then one day i guess we were really packed so we you know we we're just trying to get everything done and we just had she just happened to witness us <laughs> putting uh was it skippy's peanut butter Ooh, in our shakes that's my shit right there yeah yeah it's, yeah, it's great and it's reduced fat yeah like, so, oh, so it's next, not organic she wants organic no no, no. next time no, she comes b- claim yeah those. next time she comes back and she goes do you guys have anything else besides skippy's and we're like the shit you said the shake tasted good like what's the problem with the peanut butter? And then now she gets the almond butter every time, so margins, you know. But yeah. profits, yeah, but like it's the yeah. The people are. If I ever swing by the store butter. and that lady's in there, you tell me about it because I'm gonna kick her square in her freaking butthole, dude. Now nah, we need her, bro. She's a customer. She's a she's a customer's always right. Loyal customer. I talk a hard game, but really, you know, I'd look at her and She'd be like, "She'd probably beat you up." I think. I'm sorry, I didn't enjoy her experience. <laughs> She'd probably beat you up. But yeah, I mean, yeah, that's true though. But like, people never have a problem with something until you show them that it. If you like, it's annoying if you think like. Yeah. You know how many people eat chicken nuggets from these like fast food restaurants? And then I guarantee, if you were to show them a video. Oh yeah. Of you know. Oh, yeah. You don't want to see the videos. Chick Fil A is pretty cool though, because they don't slaughter their. They <laughs> don't Chick-fil-A slaughter is the best. They yeah. don't slaughter their chickens. They put them to sleep before, like. So Is that why the chicken's so moist. That's, no, that's why it just tastes better in general. <laughs> it kind of makes Yo, up. Y'all for seen the Chick Fil A customer service video, right? Yeah, yeah. I yeah. showed it to Vinny. Oh the my god! Oh, you, dude, you know what's so now, weird? <laughs> you don't know how to fix have, a car. <laughs> ten out of ten. <laughs> now we have the inside joke inside the shop. With a ten out of ten customer service. Yo, dude, you know what's funny though? Videos. Someone actually brought that up to me at work. We we're talking about like my the people in my office. I'm sending them to this customer first training in September, and there were he were like. You should take your people on a field trip to Chick-fil-A and just look at the consistency from person to person and how they greet you and how they walk you through that shit. Um, You know what's actually cool about that, though? The way they're humane to chickens at Chick-fil-A, it kind of makes up for their raging hatred for homosexuals (laughs) and uh, black people. It kind of, kind of makes up. You said homosexuals and black people? Yeah. (laughs) I don't think they're. I don't think they're. They against. hate blacks, dude. <laughs> I don't All think right? they're against black people. No, I, they do. I don't. I think they're just against homosexuals. No, they hate Brazilian guys too with long. No, they're hair. against homosexuals. They hate Brazilian guys with long hair that can bench three and a half racks too. I'm pretty sure. 
Pre- you can't yeah. bench three. Yeah, th- thank God that's not. Oh, yeah, sorry. <laughs> That'd be a lot. <laughs> squat, three and a half rounds. Yo, check out so, the videos, though. They're fun. They got a lot all of videos. All right, so let me ask you this. Did you, do you want to go to college? Well, what the fuck? Ooh, as of right now, yeah, as of right now. What do you mean, it dude? These parents pressured, pressured him. Podcast, man. It's controversial topics. Yeah. Talking. Motherfuckers going to college. No, That's but not I'm not. I asked him. But I'm not going because I want to. I'm just going because you feel I, that's what's. I, f- no, I. My parents are, you know, they're they're constantly in my ear because. Oh, touche. The, the, fuck me, dude. The generations like two gener like my parents' generation, you know, they never went to college, so they always had a. Mm-hmm. They always had you know grind to get what they wanted. They always worked hard to get me what I wanted. I never. I, ha- I everything I asked for, they worked hard. They gave to me. Mm-hmm. You know, not not to sound like spoiled or anything, but in their in their terms or what what they can give to me, they gave to me. Right. So now they see college as like as the way out. American when dream. in reality, that nowadays is. you graduate FSU, at UF, with a, a bachelor's degree, a and you day. end up nowhere. Yep. So not, not well, necessarily. It, yeah. Not it, always. It, 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 yeah. But I it's, think it's, it's really common. That's why I love the question. And we always talk, I don't know, like how far back you've listened, but we always, any guest, we always talk about education because it's important, you know? And um, everybody's experience with it is different. And it's so crazy to me that, you know, someone's, you know, so like both your parents, you know, worked hard for everything that they have. And it's just strange to me that they think that an education is a guarantee that that won't be the way that your life right. or your no, yeah. future turns out. You know why? What, what I'm ta- what I'm talking about. I I'm sorry to cut and you that's off. That's not a bad no, no, thing. No, no, no. That's not a bad thing. I don't, I, I don't I want saw, to equate it. I the, but the the debt that you come out in whatever career you choose, like let's say medical school, right? You come out of eight years, ten years in school. You come out with the debt of over three hundred, four hundred k that you accumulated, and then those first two years or that first year is an internship. To where you're either working for free or you're paying to work for for the hospital. It depends on the profession. So it's a long time of your life where you're eating ramen noodles, even though. Yeah. Right. Know? That's why I think it's important to go into it knowing like what. Exactly. No. What yeah. Your plan yeah. Like, is and what you but want I think sure. it's also okay to you know figure it out as you go along. But I think what my issue was, I just kept saying I'll figure it out like next semester, and then like two and a half years went by, and then I just. What college you go to? I was in, uh, we, Jesse and I went to college together, <laughs> Bloomsburg, Pennsylvania. <laughs> Back in yeah. 06, dude, when I you were five years young. College yeah. My sister was born in Pennsylvania. Yeah. <laughs> so, like, I was just like, yeah, I just kept pushing it off, pushing it off. And, like, I would go into my, um, what's a counselor? Or, like, who, <clears throat> yeah. who do you Guidance meet? counselor. Guidance and, counselor, yeah. yeah. I think they call it something different. Yeah, there's something college, different like, college. They're like, you got to declare your major. You got to declare your major. And I was just like, nah, nah, nah. <laughs> <laughs> and then like you know but like i don't know man like i was just so underdeveloped at that point in oh time. yeah yeah you were Mentally, a piece of shit physically just like i like you know didn't we now if, rape drug ourselves one time <laughs> probably <laughs> so like i just i think back at that and i'm just like there's there's so many good things yeah ghb yeah yeah there's so many. G- <laughs> that was a crazy night. <laughs> There's so many good things that you could take advantage of when you go to college. You know, like mm-hmm. I could have did, even if it was something like, you know, music, just majoring Painting. in like music education or you know, yeah, do shit you like. Or dude, there was probably a sick photography, oh, oh, yeah. videography, you know, something at the, and like I was always, I was at that point in time, like I was filming videos. But I was just basically filming videos on a little camcorder of mm-hmm. everybody drinking and getting fucked up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, and, um. Where are those tapes? I wish I knew, dude. <laughs> <laughs> They're actual tapes, though. Like, that's the yeah, crazy yeah. thing. Like, they're actual tapes. But, yeah, so. I saw, I, I read this quote the other night. It was like, why is college, um, why is college, an, like, why is college treated as a necessity but priced like a luxury? And I yeah. was like, Damn. Damn. It's, it's, well, it's what, yeah, what's crazy what? too, we were talking about how the times have changed and like, you know, back probably when we went to college, it was probably starting out, but not quite like it is now. But like the the internet, dude, is just filled with information. Yeah. No, yeah. You know, yeah and it, even if it's, you know, obviously YouTube's more mm-hmm. of like, not necessarily for a, a education, but there's a lot of different things, you know, trades. You know, hobbies, anything. If you want to learn how to do it, you can get to it on the internet. And as far as education, there's so much Absolute online shit. information. You know, there's a lot 
yeah. more cost effective than I feel going like to you, college. Yeah, I feel like so, you can you can make it. Yeah, just, like if you really want it, it's out there for you to find. Right. Like Andrew didn't go to college to open up a juice bar. Yeah, he just did his exactly. crap load of research. And like what I'm doing yeah. at work now with like management and stuff like that. I mean, you can go to college for business management and stuff, and I'm sure I would have learned a lot. But like I've learned a lot just actually. Just working with a company and being yeah. present and having an open mind and uh, you know a and desire uh, to want to learn. When uh, kids choose their their colleges now, I feel like they're choosing it based on the experience more than the education yeah, that they're going to receive. Where's the best party school at? FSU. Yeah, Bloomsburg. that's where they want to go. You know, yeah. Eric Thomas always says that like yeah, like the education is important and all that, but it's it's not really about the degree. It's like about the connections and the mm-hmm. people you meet. You know. Yeah. But I don't talk to anybody from when I. <laughs> well, not only that too. So like obviously, I think you're right that like a lot of people, especially the older time people, who don't. Well, not necessarily don't understand, but don't know what's actually available. What's capable, yeah. What's capable, yeah. You yeah. Know. Our generation was like, you go to high school, you graduate, you go to college, and there was no yeah, YouTube. Yeah, like, do and, it yourself, you know. Inter- like, I mean, the internet was there, but it was just, yeah, yeah. like, coming up. Like, we were, like, I, when I was finishing high school, like, we were on dial-up still. Ooh, right. I remember you know that. What I'm saying? So, that was nowadays, shit. all you, you know, if you're a driven person and, you know, the information's out there and even spending yeah. money for online courses or... This and that, like you can another. Learn uh, just what's as the much. semester costing? For, yeah, that I was. State, I was actually. State, yeah, you're at a, an actual. Yeah, I was college. actually. I was actually just about to bring that up. The like community college is like I don't know, two thousand bucks a freaking Ch- semester. Cheaper? No, the, cheaper. that that I was looking. At, I was talking to someone uh, from because Palm Beach State and FAU they're in the same campus. They share the same buildings. The only thing that's different is the professors and the classroom size. Like FAU is a legit college where there's you know 100 students all with their laptops uh, laptops out as to push the palm beach state where it's like a high school classroom same building just a smaller classroom so you lose a little bit of, of the college experience i guess yeah but palm beach state is one fourth cheaper than fau a quarter and, of the cost yeah a quarter of the cost and the weight like let's say you get an aa at palm beach state and an aa at FAU, the weight of the two degrees is the same. Like, j- like you go to you go to apply somewhere, they're not going to be like, oh, this guy got right, an AA right. from FAU, this guy got an AA from Palm Beach State, so we're going to take the guy over FAU. Right. Like, so I might I might do that too, and they also have online classes and everything. Um, so they, what does it cost at FAU? For I one, think per semester, like if you're doing four or five classes, like full time student. I think I think you're looking around six grand. That's not bad. And per Palm, semester. Yeah, per yeah. semester. Palm and Beach that, is like three hundred bucks a class. I went there no, once. Yeah. And yeah. you get financial aid too. Yeah, you're yeah. you're yeah. and there's times, people at Palm Beach State, they you know, they fill out their application, FAFSA sends them a crap load of money mm-hmm. and they have like eight hundred dollars left over. <laughs> yeah, yeah and they I just go to fucking Chick fil A with it. No, yeah. Simon <laughs> Simon Simon got three grand from FAFSA. Man, I didn't get shit. And he only needs like twenty twenty five hundred just to buy the books and the classes. Right. So yeah, yeah, he's but they walking. Figure, they figure housing stuff like that. I mean, that it's smart to do it that way, and it gives you a little cushion. So that way, if you yeah. have to work, you know, if you you know, but I mean, that money is still going to be owed back, at, no matter what the circumstances. You know, yeah, that's just, how it works. Yeah, the money that you don't just, use, they take back. Federal, no, 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 no. I'm saying. All the money is going to need to be paid back. I mean, essentially, it's a loan. It's not. You know. No, Fa- FAFSA is not a loan. It's the, no. It's you, it is. You have to pay FAFSA back. Yeah. No. Let's look it up. I don't think you do. No, bro. It's financial Cause, cause aid. I, you, you financial do financial aid doesn't. That doesn't. That doesn't. No, but financial aid just means you're getting financial assistance. It's not. No, nah, dude. You, I've never heard someone tell me you have to pay FAFSA back. Cause I didn't get that's none just of a it. government loan. A grant is something you don't have to pay back. Financial aid is definitely a loan. Yeah, this is yeah. You have to pay. You have to pay this money. Back. No, FAFSA is just federal student aid. Um, let's 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 check this real quick. Let's let's, let's look into. It. Yeah, use this free application for federal student aid FAFSA form to apply for financial aid for college or for grad school. Customers who are using. Uh, Dude, I don't think I've never some. I know a lot of people that did the FAFSA thing, and they they never told me how to pay them back. 
Well, they, they haven't gotten the bill yet, fam. Now, brother, before you <laughs> they haven't gotten that no, bill yet, look, fam. Types of aid. Grants and scholarships. There's loans. Those are free. Grants and scholarships. Yeah. Work, study, jobs. But, but that's not FAFSA. That's just, that's just showing all the different types. No. Yeah, exactly. th- no, no. Because the FAFSA is government. So this is all different programs for federal well, student aid. Oh, here. It's right government. here. It's right here. Uh, is an application which covers several different sources of financial aid. Some of these types of financial aid, like Pell Grants, do not need to be paid back. Yeah, but grant. other types, like federal student loans, must be paid back. Right. Yeah. But so you're they're not grant? just going to give everyone three thousand dollars to go to community school. It's usually no. But on the on the application, they they ask you know what do your parents make? Are they divorced? It, it goes like into detail. Like yeah, yeah. yeah. So to, yeah, if it's a if it's a grant. Grants are given, yeah. Given. The loan is... But loan. technically, FAFSA, if it is a grant under FAFSA, it's technically free. Well, yeah, any kind of yeah, grant. Yeah, but right. there, there's kids, like, milking the application, oh, you yeah, know, I'm lying. Sure. I'm sure there's a YouTube yeah, video like, that. There's yeah. probably parents <laughs> that are milking the application. But it's pretty serious. Like, you have to get, like, your W-7 form from... Or, is that what it's called? W-7? W-2? <laughs> it's out to be 18, dude. Casey just sent me that. Of course, you did. Never forget. Oh, that's the Shout out to Casey Murphy, um, episode 83. If you haven't listened back to that one, go ahead and get that it. That one was cool. Casey fucking loves but, lightning. Okay, so, dude. yeah. Yeah, so, like, yeah, grants are, are, are money, and then uh, loans, you have to be, you know, pay back. No, uh, yeah, I knew a loan had um, to be paid back, yeah. Yeah. Melody trying and, like, to get me And, like, a federal on. loan is, like, through the government, and those are have, like, very low, low interest rates, usually are very, like... They're forgiving on it. That's oh, why there's yeah. all those, you know, debt forgiveness and shit like that with the president. But, um, I need and then that. there's private loans. I got you know, that. Which are like bank loan, like like you can go to you know TD Bank or Citibank and get like a, a loan for school. Mm. Um, but yeah, I mean, I had, I still, I'm still <clears throat> paying mine back. Me too. And uh, your college loan? Yeah. And I didn't. I didn't even finish. Think about that. Bro, bro, my my buddy. That's the freaking problem with this nation, bro. Shout out to Josh Labatch. Uh, Josh Labatch was on a couple episodes um, back. Is it? Is it Labatch? <laughs> Maybe 10, 15 episodes I like back. Tom Labatch. Engineer for a multi-billion-dollar international company. Just um, just like last year, finished paying back his student loans. <sighs> Graduated Rutgers. Jersey mechanical engineer. It's not a bad thing though. No, because he's what? doing. Yeah, because now he's you know thirty two and he's got. He's a living the like his solid green fucking solid, life. Yeah, so, I mean, look, it's just all a matter. Just like anything else in life, mm-hmm. it's just a matter of what you're gonna do with the experience. Now, would you say I that fucked off in college and I got fucked? <laughs> you know, that's just you know. Now, would you say that's my edu- fault though? The education you received while you were messing up in college, have you applied that? No. And, no, because I wasn't hearing anything. No, but like, he's I, saying... Ha- like, this if, motherfucker if you learned were, how to fucking get down. Is what he <laughs> like, has that, has that helped you, you know, with like... Open no, 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 I have. I didn't hear any of it. He literally oh, just... I didn't parted. learn anything, dude. He learned how to like play drums in a metal band and... They, dude. He was fun. But I can't believe yeah. Vinny's a drummer, dude. I didn't know that. How do you not dude, know you that? You got a drum set at your house? Day. Yeah, dude. Dude, we got a jam. Dude, you're with this freaking guy every day. Are you in a band? No. I haven't played guitar in a long time. Do you play drums at the church? Sometimes. Yeah. Which church, dude? Yeah, uh, let's talk about this because I wanted to talk about this. Which what? What'd you say? I said which it's church? It's a church on uh, Hillsboro. You know where the old Cinema Five movie theater used to be? Mm. Yeah, yeah it's, it's pretty. It's pretty fresh. You know they're very involved in the community. They got a big uh, music production thing. Going yeah, on bro. There? That's a lot, lot of music. A lot of talent in there That's from cool. from like every. You know, you have people that do art. The guy did an art for us. Um, the Wall of Wealth. I don't know if you guys have seen it. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So I grew up with him, same church. Nice. Um, the did your did your folks like introduce you into that? Um, obviously, no one really. If you're a kid, no one's just like, oh, I'm gonna go to church. <laughs> yeah. No, yeah, I was. Your parents brought you, right? No, yeah, I was. I was born into a Christian household. Um, yeah. You know, growing up, it's always been the same. Sundays, family days, we separated. You know, no matter Buddy's what. Never working on Sundays. That's good. He never works on Sundays. Wow, dude. Dude, but I work 
I work Saturday, <laughs> Friday, bad, Thursday, bad Monday, <laughs> Tuesday. It's not a bad just thing. Fucking it's not Drew, a bad fucking thing. give the guy a fucking break, dude. <laughs> no, that's not a bad thing. It's, you know what I'm saying? You got you got your morals, and that's that's you stick by them. That's, that's yeah. yeah. That's like su- Sunday, no matter you know if I got in trouble. If you couldn't or tell, what? Christian's like the soft one. Yeah, Yo, super but, soft. But that dude. sounds like, like Mormonism. Like in Utah, where like, Idaho, Utah, where I went to high school, there's huge uh, uh, religion and Mormonism, and literally on Sundays. They do not leave their house. No, it's not. It's not anything like that. Like they're they don't just like the Jews. They don't drive cars or use technology on the Sabbath. I'm sorry, the they don't use are technology. You Jewish people. Jews. Fucking Jews, dude. Whoa, dude. What Whoa. is that racist? Dude, that's a little harsh, is bro. That bigotry. It's not like you said. It's not like you said. Yeah, he's just he's stating he's he's stating a, a, a religion. Yeah, I'm just fucking with right. him. Christian's too soft. Dude. Soft as no, fuck, but yeah. Dude. Growing up, Sunday has always been you know no matter what happened through the week yeah. we have breakfast together. We go to That's church. Good. We have lunch. We chill together. You know, we get ready to take on the next week together. It's yeah. Just, Sense of community, yeah. family. Yeah. As soon as I was 18, I was like, <clears throat> I was like, y'all ain't fucking making me go to church. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't doing that. 18, you know? bro. I, I was like, I was like 15. Well, yeah, because my, my dad was, my dad made me. Not nah, yeah. Well, I mean, he made me go, you know, and that's okay. Um, but yeah, as soon as I was old enough, I was like, nah, I'm not going. Like, yeah. you can't make me go. Like, yo, my biggest thing was I was, I was my mom. I was always like, mom, right, just hear me out. If God's everywhere, why do I need to go to church to talk to him? I can talk to him right here at my house. You know what I'm saying? It's Sunday. I'm yeah. chill. That's another thing. Organized religion, I feel like, is for profit, but that's you know a whole other conversation. Thing. But I want you know tell tell me why. Or maybe the listeners, maybe you know, there's someone out there who might be able to, you know, what are what are some things that you gain from you know going to church? Why do you keep going? You know, um, and I guess just the belief in God. You know, like I don't know. For me, I just I like like the organized thing was was like uh, was something that like deterred me from it. Um, but also, I feel like. You know, I just never really needed to go that route to have a relationship with God. So I just, I want to know why. To me, to me, it's never been a burden, you know, to go. Like I've never, if I didn't want to go, my parents were like, all right, you, you know, you could just chill, do whatever. But Mm -hmm. the, we've been in the same church now for, um, I want to say 11 years, 10 years. Mm -hmm. So the relationships that have been built on that platform aren't ones that, you know, like I, I've I've developed like fr- your friendships, yeah, yeah, lifelong friendships, friends that yeah. you know I can I can count on if I need something. So it's to me, it's never been a you know a burden, hmm. um, as opposed to you know your situation where like if you don't you can't make me go or whatever. And I, I feel like I was also really fucked up. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I I feel like the the conflict comes when parents are forcing. Right, you know, yeah, that yeah. and because so, everyone has their own, you know, mm-hmm. um, but to me, it's never been a burden. Yeah, so. I feel like churches too nowadays. Like, if I went, I I might be into it, you know, because like we talked about music and drums and like a lot of these places oh, have yeah. like bands. Like, yeah, like when where, when when I where I went and where my dad still goes, very traditional yeah. wooden everything pews. Yeah. Everyone stands up and sings hymns. And I just think, I just think it's corny. Well, not only that, but so I kind of agree too. like, I've been down here to like, uh, some of these, like I went to church a couple times in Florida and I've been to these huge fucking things where they have crazy music production. Mm -hmm. There's so much put into it. And to me, that's really cool. And I feel like if, when I was, when I was growing up, if I would have had those kind of experiences, you know, I could be, I could have a completely different outlook on, on church and religion, but for my family's experience, um, you know, I've, we've dealt firsthand with a lot of hypocrisy, um, where it completely turned us off. You know, like my grandfather, um, you know, he was in a bad car accident, you know, a few years before he passed away and he was like, you know, he had a colostomy bag and he turned into a pretty bad alcoholic. And when he passed away, you know, at his funeral, you know, this is the, the priest of our fucking congregation or church, you know, stood up there and like basically trash talked him at his own funeral. Jesus said how fucking Christ. much of an alcoholic he was and how bad he was and all the bad shit he fucking did. Damn. And, you know, that ruined church and all religion yeah. experiences for my dad. 
you know, for my whole family, and you know that trickled down to me. Yeah, you know, but if like that's you're only saying, one thing. Though, well, it like, is, but a little... but you know, I've had other experiences too, which I don't feel like getting into. But yeah, I've dealt with hypocrisy, you know. But if it's just a you know the sense that I get is like you know. I just don't trust fucking people, you know. I like, feel like it's you know the it's how you're um, it can how you're introduced to church exactly. too. Like I I've been in the same church since I was really young, mm-hmm. and the church that I went to was very active in the community. Um, always had the best equipment with what they can afford. So you know, as they've been growing, the equipment has increased. So now they're very um, into like social media. You know they. I follow him on the gram. Yeah. What's, yeah. What's the name of it? Uh, says it stands for. If I say it in Portuguese, you won't understand. But it's basically an international community. Uh, we it's, have. And so it's a Portuguese. Church. Yeah, but there's uh, on Sunday mornings it's completely English. Um, okay. uh, then on you know on Saturday nights, Sundays. But a lot of your homies are Portuguese. No, all of them Not were born fair. here. They just speak other languages from their oh, parents. Okay. Yeah. But see, that's what I'm saying. Like, if I would have been brought up with a different experience introduction no, yeah. Portu- and Portuguese a, a different set of people you know i can have a completely different outlook on that stuff yeah i also think it's kind of kind of where you where you where you are geographically too like you grew up kind of like in the sticks you in know the sticks. so there's there's not a lot of culture i guess you could say yeah. whereas here in south florida it's kind of like a melting pot where you get all kinds of stuff different oh, yeah. people no, yeah you know, for sure different people, yeah. beliefs different languages different you got everything yeah. in south florida i was from just, i was just from like i was like suburbia you mm. know just like mm. yeah. just like a mm. bunch of just white people just so when you all see, freaking freaking hey you, look at my collared shirt dude you want a cheeseburger <laughs> what i mean that's pretty american it's my dude. most american impression that's pretty american you like cheeseburgers that? Freaking like cheeseburger! Oh, Jen dude. was coming in here saying we were married in that church. Oh yeah, <laughs> wow, you can't Jen. bad mouth the church, <laughs> oh, dude. My God. I'm getting married no, in the I Delray did, courthouse. I'm not, I'm not bad mouthing anything. I'm just stating my opinion and how I, you know. Well, dude, you're just getting all soft on us here, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just yeah, but you know, crazy. same thing with uh, with Helena. You know, she she had similar she's experiences. Cuban, right? Dang, bro, you gotta charge that jewel. She's yeah, I know. That that's from dead bro. as fuck. No, she's, she's not Cuban, right? She'd be no, mad if I said that. She's Colombian, dude. Colombian. Very so fish. she grew up. Oh, she, she, you know, her family stupid, very religious. Man. Oh my god. Very religious, but she dealt with a lot of hypocrisy. You know, where people <laughs> act a certain way, you know, but talk another. You know, and it's just. I mean, that's that's part of the human nature. Though. It is, but you know, it turns us off. You know, we we believe that we have our own relationship with our higher powers, yeah. and yeah, yeah, you yeah. know, we live by a set of moral standards and beliefs that you know we're good people, and that's that's good enough for us. You know, but I respect everyone's beliefs and everyone's choice. Yeah, to, yeah my problem to exercise my problem freedom. with that is that when choice. people act a different way, and then church comes around on that day and they like switch up. Exactly, that's, that's, not, that's, just that's then, not just church. That's not just no, it's not. But that's what turned me <laughs> off. No, yeah. Other than, other than the life. next day, you know, they go back to doing whatever. But you know, Sunday comes around, it's time to switch back. Oh, yeah, yeah. But okay, so it, you, it's like you, a person you, lying on a job application. Oh, and then, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I'm saying. We're human. They're they're talking to talk, but they ain't walking. But I, I think I don't, I don't, I don't get, like to say those people get slapped. Yeah, you know I don't, I don't like to say it's because we're human. I feel like it's just character in general. Like, Speaking you know, about uh, church, how stoked is everyone for the new Danny McBride show? What? Uh, similar to Eastbound and Down, where he is a member of a evangelicist family, who's uh, it looks good. Dude, HBO show yeah, coming I, out. I, I fuck with Danny. Next no month. what you're talking about, dude. Check it. Look yeah, it up. No, uh, no, righteous, him, the Righteous Gemstones, dude. Look it up and you will be amazed. If you like Eastbound and Down, this will tickle your tits. <laughs> <laughs> I fuck with Danny McBride. So at, at 18, do you have any like long-term, short-term goals? Any any goals list or anything that you're hoping to accomplish like in the next, you know, I don't know, one year, three years, five years? You know, I... No, you should. I don't. No, mm-hmm. I, I, I do. I just don't know how to. <laughs> like my my long term go was you know to to get a car, mm-hmm. and then that okay. just yeah. So that just happened. Um, everything you know worked out. You you're, know, perfect. You're fucking exactly Tell us about where you that. should be, bro. Tell us about that process. Yeah. So in my head, I knew what car I wanted. Um, Which is what a GTI. Oh, I think look nice at this guy, yeah. Drew. Yeah. That's what Drew used to. She was a GTI just like, boy. Yeah. Just like I was Jesse. a GTI boy. Yeah. Back yeah. So like I, I knew I wanted it in my head, and I knew that you know I could have I could have just got like, um, you know any car right. for now just to get to work, and but 
I was willing to, you know, wait, put in the extra hours and mm-hmm. just let everything work itself out. Even if that meant, you know, mom driving me to work or whatever, just because I don't, I feel like if you if you have a mentality, oh, I'm just going to do this for now. Right. I feel like that can turn into something where like, oh, like I, this is fine, you know, like, so I'd rather just, you know, start with something better and not have to worry about it breaking down. Right, right. And if that meant, you know, waiting four or five months longer than. And it's brand new. No, it's not brand new. It's, okay. It's a 2015. I bought it with like 50,000 miles on it, um, but really good condition and everything. Mm-hmm. Reliable, stick, learning how to drive stick. And you had to negotiate and, and go through the whole process of... Yeah, so it's it's funny how things work out. I went to a dealership uh, on Saturday, tried to get it under my own name, blah, blah, blah. Gave me an APR of 23% on a car that was $16,000. Oh, 23%. shit, dog. That bumped the payments up to close to like... 650 that's crazy that's without insurance so and it was it was a model you know it didn't have the lighting package um it, it, it was nice and then one week later i found another one mm. exactly the color that i wanted originally lighting package which i told andrew was something that was you know, i thought was pretty cool um and i was i got an apr 16 percent nice on you know my car is the car's under fully under my name and everything. Nice, nice. Christian, I got an idea right now. What is it? Let's freaking dip our toes into the waters of time right now. Let's take a throw back into the annals of time. <laughs> is this when is this when, when you were 18 on? years young. Mm-hmm. No. <laughs> I don't know what's happening. What was your <laughs> short-term goals, dude? They were not good. When Talk I was 18 years old? Yeah. When I was 18 years old. <clears throat> oh, I started LGM when I was 18 years old. Uh, cool brand. dude, fucking cool brand. story, Drew. The same one you have now? No, no, different one, different one. Different it was one. uh one with my cousin, but uh, but yeah, uh, that was my goal. for those don't don't know, what did LGM stand for, Chris? Lost Generation Movement. And what was your mission statement? No mission statement. <laughs> wow. That that was that was the, the main issue. That's that where was you the main fucked issue. up, dude. Yeah, that was the main issue. It was hard to explain. You sold that company for three million, right? <laughs> oh yeah, three million. Drew, what about you? Eighteen years old. Where was your head at? We were at Bloomsburg. We were I was. At I, th- I feel like you and I were trying. I was to drunk in a basement somewhere. <laughs> we were trying to live our lives <laughs> similarly me. to um, Johnny Depp's character in uh, Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas. Ooh, that's Every day one. of our yeah, lives. Yeah, yeah, that's a good one. Yeah, we were just getting as drunk as possible, sniffing some lines of something off of someone's toilet somewhere. Bro. Yeah, we were going. Nowhere. <laughs> he said, "Bro, Vinny, oh my god, <laughs> don't Yo, you don't want to like we were, you don't dude. Know, dude. You don't the last know. man standing at we every were, party. Uh, oh. What you call late adult developers? You know, we we definitely adulted. You know, we're both doing pretty good right now. But it, it, it took a little it, bit. It took. We had to get fully through our twenties to realize, yeah. you know, that it was 18, time to grow no, 18 up. Eighteen was was wasn't bad. That was my my. I was just freshman year yeah. in college. I so. actually had some aspirations at eighteen. I wanted to be a uh, music teacher i was super into you know my hobbies and music and uh you know i just i got i had a little too much fun yeah. you know yeah, and that it. turned into some dark shit some <laughs> dark years there were some dark years mid-20s to late 20s but we're gonna thinking, start a band dude i fully developed we're gonna start a band i do want to get back into some yeah music. like going going back to like the whole goal thing i you know i grew up uh, my dad's a painter yeah so he has his own business and everything so when uh the market crashed in 2007 or whenever it was. I was too young to remember. That was pretty when accurate, all the, 2007. Yeah. 2008. So when, when that happened, I... Started to crash. Too, yeah. So. so when that Thank happened, you. you know, I saw my parents kind of struggle a little bit because that was the backbone of the family. Business was booming, and then all of a sudden there's no houses to paint and whatnot. Mm. So I saw, you know, I always had dinner on the table. You know, everything worked itself out. But I saw my parents, you know, really have to grind to to get through. So now my long-term goal is just... I know the life I want to live a comfortable life, right? You know, be able to provide for the, my future family and whatnot. Um, so I guess that just consists of a bunch of short-term goals. Yeah, I feel and like I mean, you're you're ahead of your time, bro. Yeah, you're, I mean, you're your mind. You're, no, seriously, you're thinking about shit that right. uh, I didn't think about responsibly for a long time, and maybe that's what the normal person does, and I'm just the one that's fucked up. Yeah, you I are one hundred percent. I really not wasn't normal. thinking about the kind of shit that I should have been thinking about. Took everything I for think granted. What, took I think what kind of happened with me was switching over to online school and getting away from high school itself. 
Because I, f- I feel like... Yeah, because everyone's just like, yo, where's the party at this weekend? Yeah. Where, where we get as those jewel pods, like, dude? As I'm opposed to, to like me on pods. Friday night, I'm like, I'm just going to relax. I have to work Saturday morning, you know? Right. But but that, also, I feel like there's like, there's different, you know, there's different people out there. There's plenty of people who went through high school and are going to college who... No, yeah, for sure. Or like, that's, that's on the track mi- to do well. Yeah, that's the minority, though. The, I guarantee you, it's less. <laughs> I guarantee Probably. you, it's less than six percent of people that actually are attending a college based on the the sole purpose of education. They just want to party. Exactly. A lot of people do what me and Drew want to do, and they're gonna end up like me and Drew did. They're gonna be in their twenty eight, sitting in a NA meeting, trying to figure <laughs> out how the fuck they got there, and then next thing you know, they're gonna change their lives, and they're gonna fucking. Have a podcast. Find baby Jesus and uh, <laughs> start a juice bar and fucking work for Semex. Mix. Fucking really thrive. Yeah, like surrounding your people, surrounding yourself with people that you know. I I think it's pretty cool what you guys have set up here. You know, you guys are, your the name of the show perfectly describes what you guys are doing, and I feel like I've learned a lot from Andrew from the juice bar itself. Like it's it's impossible to work with him, <laughs> and not work better than what you did the next day. Like his worth ethic is something that I've always respected because, you know, I was driving down here. It was like a 40 minute drive for me. He does that almost every day, you know, and some days are crap. Some days are good. Um, But, you know, he always comes back with the same worth work ethic. And Drew, what does that feel like to be a a mentor for such a fine young Portuguese gentleman? Such as uh, Vinny, who can rack three plays. I didn't plays. mentor him. He came in. No, the but way you that he is. indirectly are. Do you fucking understand? I feel understand like he should be that? paying me. I feel like he should. Oh, be. Dude, you hear this guy? I thought you were gonna be like, "Oh no, it feels really get, good to give back." <laughs> this motherfucker is wanting monetary fucking concessions. No, no, I, that's a, like a running joke that I have with no, like, I know. a bunch of the guys. Right? I'm but like, seriously, you should it, be paying me. Dude. Yeah, <laughs> this is gold. Do you, do you feel like this <laughs> is your chance to like help somebody? You know, not make the fucking yeah, same no, mistakes. I, I feel that like um, everybody has a purpose, you know, and that you know, my purpose. Not solely to help other people, but right. I feel like that's one of the things that I'm I'm passionate about in my life, and you know, um, that's just kind of human nature in gen- in general that that I'm finding out over time and as the years go on is that we have to help each other. Yeah, you know, and um, I just wasn't got to work on something bigger than yourself. Yeah, and like yeah. I, at that age, I just wasn't open to help, and I wasn't right. So if, if I can make an impact on anyone, then that's that's that one person, then, you know, mission accomplished. Because I was just so, like, I have all the answers right, right, at right. that age, you know. So, like, I, anyone would tell me anything, I'd be just like, fuck yeah, off. Yeah, if, if, like, if you had yourself you know? as a mentor, you'd probably tell yourself to go fuck off. Yeah, like, yeah. Get, guaranteed. Get, get lost, dude. Guaranteed. You know? <laughs> get lost. So, yeah, yeah man. That's, that's cool, song. dude. I, I feel like a, a good ethic is the best thing, you know, because... Yeah, like, you got to, wa- you got to, like, just, I mean, it's, like, any good boss or leader is, like, working. I'm never going to tell anyone, and, and this isn't, you know, not just relevant to the juice bar or anything, but, like, I would never, ever tell anyone to do something that I wouldn't do myself. Right. Or that I haven't done, you know? Um, and I just feel like not many people get down like that. They don't. Yeah. Wow. Well, fellas, this conversation has taken many twists and turns, but I have to say that... uh I've definitely gotten some sort of sexual gratification uh, from all of this, and uh, it's been nice. So, <laughs> so reg- uh, regular transition here. What the French? <laughs> yeah, no, that's good though, Vinny. Though it's good because it's like, you know, like you were saying about the, the long-term goals, and you're not really too sure. You just know that you want to be in a comfortable place. But I mean, it, it's. I think the most important part is is just to like experience as much as you can and like no yeah for sure you know not be afraid to fail yeah. you're in a good position you're the only thing I mean co- you know college it is what it is you know but as long and I think you're you'll be fine as long as you go in with a good attitude you know it's, yeah it's you're gonna learn no matter what I think one thing you should put on your list is study abroad that'd be that'd be dope yeah. what does that mean you don't know what study abroad is I, I've heard the term but it's well, not go to go to fucking uh, France and uh, take a semester yeah, so there like, yeah you could like, dude it's I'm normal. not trying you trying to get rid of me bro I'm not trying to leave dude no, no, you no. trying to fucking <laughs> kick no, your mentor out? out he's no, trying yeah, to yeah, look yeah. I'm saying like, like if, I, if, I, if I was smart and I had the opportunity to do it I, I, I would have done it yeah you, you pay your normal tuition and all that stuff and your school sets up a, a thing for you where you travel to another country and you do a semester like somewhere else I think what's going on here Vinny is like Andrew pictures you 
Like as a baby bird who flew into or his the store window and broke his wing. And he's kind of nursed you back to life. And now, you know, your fucking wings are strong, bro. And they're fucking flapping in the fucking wind, bro. Wings. And That's he's right. just trying to put you in the palm of his two hands and just fucking look up into the freaking sunlight and just toss you out into the world, you know? Yeah. I mean, what ran through my head, you know, was like if I if I go to like a business degree or I seek a business degree, then, you know, if I can apply that, to any area of my life if that's you know my job and help the job grow because if the you know if the job grows everyone in it grows too right business so. degrees is is a good one in my opinion because it's saturated it, it, though it, right. it's very saturated it is but it it also translates to a lot of different careers you know you're not like if you go for a music teacher music education you know you're going to be a music teacher or you're not going to fucking use your degree you go for a business ed or, you know, you can kind of apply that to many different career fields, you know, which yeah. which is smart in the sense if you're not sure exactly what you want to do, um, it's not a bad choice, bro. Right now, I just want to grind, bro. Just, you know. Can, they ma- can you major in sexual education? Oh, yeah. Yeah. For sure. Hell I'm yeah, going back dude. to school, bro. I'm yeah. going back. Learn about anatomy. <laughs> Teachers are <clears throat> the most underrated jobs oh, yeah. They, yeah. they're definitely it's underpaid tough, my too. sister is an elementary I Dude, think third grade pisses me off i wanted to be a music teacher i started as a music ed yeah but it's a tough gig i don't think it, people it really realize that tough. the 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 influence that teachers can have oh, yeah. on a student it's crazy yep. good and bad I yeah, really yeah good yeah, teachers yeah. man who yeah. uh it was on the news the other day this, this teacher tits. got fired because she uh she cut a student's like hair oh Ooh. for real yeah yo i actually thought of something so we're talking about times changing in school and how much different it is now so you you see i'm seeing all these motherfucking news stories about female teachers fucking boy oh, yeah, students yeah Vinny, yeah. is there have you experienced not necessarily <laughs> personally <laughs> but have anyone you've known in high school you know had any kind of sexual relations with teachers uh female male students female teachers is there anything like that going on? That's just too crazy, bro. Damn, fam. I was hoping for a good story, but we struck like, out. The the story I can give you though was when I was in high school. Oh shit. My principal at the time just got fired over the summer because he he went on the news and said that the Holocaust wasn't real. What the f- What the I Swear to God. That's the that's like a weird way he, to go. He's out. saying Did he work for Chick fil A? And this is this is <laughs> Spanish River High School, you know. You, oh, I know that. Yeah, yeah. Ninety-nine percent of the population, the students that go there, are Jewish. They had a oh, petition of five thousand signatures in the first day to get him to resign. Oh my god! But like, he's gone now. And this went <laughs> viral. Maybe like, he was, this was committing on uh, career suicide. You know, maybe he was like, "Fuck these kids." Dude, that's so weird. Fuck Why, this like, school. It's like bunch of fucking Jews. That's probably what he did. Committed career suicide. Yeah, he uh, he refused to call the Holocaust a fact. <laughs> um, Denier, he's, he's saying that since he he wasn't there to witness it, that he can't say that you know it's real. Um, this was on the freaking New York was, Times. Uh, I feel kind of proud to know that you know my school made it to. The, I mean, was, not proud, but was his name Jesse Ventura, a uh, well-renowned conspiracy theorist? No, okay. I, like this. This is what he quoted. I can't say the Holocaust is a factual historic event because I am not in the position to do so as a school district employee. Well, I was looking for some uh, female. I mean, really, nobody tidbits. knows because nobody was there. But it's just like you just—it's like part of history. You can't just like yeah. go and question every. Pretty sure I Hitler mean, uh, was real, and he was a fucking yeah. tyrant who. Uh, you guys, know. you guys think nine eleven is? Uh, you think Bush did nine eleven? <laughs> <laughs> I think That's someone killed honest. Jeffrey Epstein. That's about as far as I go into conspiracy theories. Uh-huh. Fuck yeah! Somebody killed him, Jen. I mean, I don't know. It's, it's, it's like Trump. It's there's kind a, of a tough there, one. There's a what? What do you guys think is in Area 51? <laughs> I don't know, dude. Did you guys hear about that? Like, if we all run, they can't stop yeah, all of us. They can. <laughs> yeah, That's they, the most well guarded place. Yeah, that on was the a millennial planet. idea. I don't know if you guys one. are for, familiar. Uh, Modern Warfare Two. Yeah. The, the campaign where you go in the airport. And yeah, uh, I think so. Start. That was that was yeah that was back in my high school my my Xbox Live days. Yeah. So there's uh. There's there's a mission where you know you walk into the airport with 
machine gun and you literally go around killing civilians in the airport and this is just for a guy trying to convince the the people that he's with to prove that he's with them when he was actually like an undercover and i saw a meme it was like they can't stop all of us in quotation marks and then it was like as soon as you cross the line it's gonna be like a bunch of guys oh yeah i've seen a bunch of funny memes man how deep yeah. are we in depends how we're deep. an hour and 20 minutes in Jeez. depends how deep the secrets are yeah i Drew, think Drew, fuck you Drew. dude i yeah, think juice revolution is gonna sponsor this episode okay you know? Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, you know, let's let's hear a little drop from Jr. You know what I'm saying, Vinny? Give him the rundown. Tell tell him what Juice Revolution. Tell him all about Juice Revolution. What's the, the mission listeners. statement, bud? We're just trying to uh, uh, check JuiceRevolution.net. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I want to hear from Vinny. What's Vinny's mission statement? I feel like we're just really focused on providing people with um, a good product. You know, we're not cutting any corners, um, which kind of just. You know, it gets me kind of upset knowing that there's other places that cut mad corners mm. and they're doing things the wrong way and are still blowing up. And so, you know, it's just a matter of time. Right. Um, but, you know, we're just trying to provide people with a good product, quality ingredients that are very good competitive price. Um, yeah, bro. It's just respect. That was yeah. fucking Check us out respect. at JuiceRevolution.net. You can order online. I'm trying to keep we all got the juice happy. special right now. Fifty three ninety nine for a day. Um, specializing in handcrafted smoothies, mm. power protein vegan shakes, mm. healthy mm. snacks, acai and dragon fruit bowls. And uh, come on in. I have Whoops. to say, Drew, I'm impressed with your employee sponsee program right now. Vinny is a fucking shining example of human excellence. And I think uh, if he sticks around, he's gonna make a lot of co- he's gonna make make a lot of fucking coin in this business. In, huh? in any business. In, I was about to say in any business. Yeah. A fucking shining example, dude. All right, thanks everyone for listening, and we'll see you next week. Don't Shout die. out Simon. Shout out Casey. <laughs> yeah. Don't die, Simon or Casey. <laughs>